Let's learn in this Lightboard session how we can enable monitoring and logging for a NetGIS cluster using the Managed Prometheus, Managed Grafana, and Log Analytics. We'll see that in the new ingestion API model that will involve using the DCE data collection endpoint and the DCR data collection rule. Let's see how this works. So typically within your AKS cluster, you would have the monitoring agents that will collect the log and the metrics. The logs will be collected by the Azure monitoring agent for logs and you'd have one for the metrics. Each one of these is actually installed as a daemon set so that it can run on all the worker nodes within the AKS cluster so that it can get the logs and metrics from all these nodes. So the metrics will be typically sent to a Prometheus instance that could be either installed within your AKS cluster or you can use a past service like the Azure Managed Prometheus, which is now part of the Azure Monitor workspace. That way you would have a stateless cluster where you don't need to create persistent volumes and to, uh, in order to persist the database for uh, Prometheus. And after that, you can visualize this data using a Grafana instance that could be, again, either installed within your AKS cluster or you can use a managed pass service like the managed Grafana service within Azure. And within managed Grafana, you will get about 13 Grafana dashboard that was built by the AKS team specifically for AKS. So you don't need to create those dashboards yourself. So with this setup, Grafana actually will connect to the managed Grafana, uh, to the managed Prometheus through using extensions or add-ons from the Grafana uh, marketplace. So then it can go to query the metrics from within Prometheus. So that's for the metrics. Now for the logs, they will be typically saved into Azure Log Analytics, which is also part of Azure Monitor. Then in order to plug in the Azure Monitor agent metrics to send the metrics to the managed Prometheus, actually that will not happen directly, but it will go through the new ingestion API model. This means that here those metrics will be actually sent to a DCE data collection endpoint. So what is a DCE data collection endpoint? Actually a DCE is at the end, it's an endpoint, it's actually three endpoints. So it will expose an endpoint for collecting the metrics, and then it exposes a second endpoint to collect the logs, and a third endpoint in order to get the configuration. Here we talk about the configuration that is actually DCR, data collection rule, which is another object or another service in Azure that allow you to specify rules for your logs and metrics. So you can do data transformation, you can add metrics, you can filter metrics and logs, before sending those metrics and logs to Managed Prometheus and Log Analytics. So these two components works together. The data collection endpoint will expose an endpoint in under which it will expose actually the metrics or will ingest the metrics, the logs, and then send those back to Azure Monitor. So here our data collection endpoint will ingest the metrics through the metrics endpoint so that these metrics could be sent later to Azure Monitor Prometheus. And as we said here, the data collection endpoint will work with a DCR, so it should have here a DCR attached to it that will specify the data collection rule for the transformation. So maybe here I want to filter some metrics. I can do that through the DCR. Actually, at first, the Azure Monitor agent will connect to the data collection endpoint through the config endpoint right here to retrieve the DCR, do that data transformation, and then send back the, the metrics or the transformed metrics to the DCE. And now the same flow will happen with the logs of the cluster. So they would use also a DCE data collection endpoint that will sit between the monitor agent and the log analytics. And that data collection endpoint will expose an endpoint where the Azure Monitor agent can send the logs to this uh, data collection endpoint. And in its turn, this DCE will also use a data collection rule, DCR, in order to transform the data, filter the data, and so on. And then those logs will be sent to the Azure Log Analytics endpoint. So in terms of logs and metrics here, we are talking about the worker nodes of the cluster that will be uh, collected through the Azure Monitor agent. But there are also metrics and logs that are produced by the control plane in, in AKS. And as we don't have access to the control plane, 
So you cannot install those monitor agents there to get those logs and metrics. However, AKS give you access to the metrics and to the logs of the control plane. Those logs and metrics actually could be sent or could be uh, configured through the diagnostic settings where from diagnostic settings, actually you can send those logs into your uh, Azure Log Analytics instance. I hope it was helpful. Thank you.